Greetings, everyone. I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to our Europa Universalis 4 campaign with Arthanex Games and uh, Torior. Say hello. Hello. Hi. All right. So, at this moment, I am uh, currently taking advantage of a very, uh, very fortunate situation on my part. Uh, Austria declared war on Bohemia and let me join in, so I am sieging down Bohemia's province. They already got on halt from this war. Uh, so, yeah, things are going going up for uh, Brandenburg here. Mm. Um, Scotland is uh, is doing quite well so far. We joined the Holy Roman Empire. Um, we have three vassals, Tyrone, Leinster, and Oldenburg. Uh, and we just survived our first war with England. We managed to win a couple of lucky battles in Scotland, and they accepted a concession of defeat. So we got a six-year truce. And hopefully afterwards, France will attack England again, and that will um, keep me out of things. And Tuscany is getting its ass kicked. Uh, I am in a coalition war against a lot of countries, and I am almost at a negative 100%, but I managed to siege Corsica, so I'm holding on, hoping that when they get a lot of war exhaustion, they will also have reduced enthusiasm and maybe even accept a concession or something like that. Which is a wishful thinking, but if I, um, but they would, at the moment they want me to give up everything I have. All right, so that's it. All right, I'm gonna unpause. Uh, wait, guys. Okay, never unpause. mind. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna unpause. I just noticed noticed that my vassal Leinster has a five four three three general. It's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I'm wondering if I should just accept this uh, terrible war, um, this ter terrible peace deal, and then expand again because I have my alliance with France, but I'm still not sure. It's too crippling. Well, if you think you can get a better one um, without waiting too long, so that you don't miss too many future opportunities, then um, you can. Keep in mind that uh, they changed one of the new things they changed in this patch is that if you cancel any vassals, you'll lose any cores or claims you have on their provinces. They just changed that in this patch. I think I'm getting some mic noise from uh, mic noise from one of you. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, manageable. Right. Um, never mind that. Um, they are still offering the same terrible peace deal all the time so I'll just keep sitting on Corsica and hoping for a better one um, they want mm, to reduce me to two provinces if it was three I would be okay with that but that would be far too crippling so I what I hope to do is uh, get a little better peace deal and they then use my alliance with France to expand maybe even into Aragon because France can easily squash Aragon In the meantime, I'm really rooting for Austria to win this war against Burgundy. Burgundy is um, fighting in Luxembourg against Trier right now, and they're crushing. The coalition of forces is in Austria's favor, but Austria is still trying to deal with Bohemia. But there's not much I can do. My uh, I lost my navy in the war with England, and... Um, I'm currently blockade, being blockaded by Utrecht, or whatever that is, and Brittany's Utrecht. navies. Utrecht, thank you. Utrecht, uh, and uh, Brittany's navies, since I have none. I'm rebuilding it, but it's going to take me a while. Well, I, I just sieged uh, Niederlautz, and uh, I, I can't really siege any more provinces for myself, because uh, Poland has taken a whole bunch of them. Uh, including the the capital Bohemia, uh, so I'm 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 gonna help out Austria siege down this last province and hopefully get enough war score to uh, to get uh, Niederlauts and sort of separate piece my way out of it. Well, you have a claim, and uh, Austria is the war leader, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, looks like Poland just uh, just ate half of uh, half of Bohemia <laughs> here, so I think I can peace out now. I just realized why I was able to beat England. It's because they're still at they're still at military tech three, which is a, four and three is a huge difference. 
Uh, unfortunately, they have an heir now, so I don't think they'll get the uh, uh, War of the Roses if King Henry dies. And their heir is a freaking six five six. Not good news for me. I really hate this uh, mm, war score less than twenty five won't join war thing because if it wasn't for that I could call in France and they would wipe everyone and I would uh, gain land in this coalition war okay so oh you got another province yep they uh, they gave me Niederlauts nice all right congrats yeah. Bohemia got uh, 10 percent uh, uh, Bohemia is giving Austria war reparations Wurzburg got Bamberg and Bohemia's paying 20 ducats. Alright, well. That was a fairly successful war for me. Yeah. Not me complaining too much. No. How's, how's, your, uh, how's your aggressive expansion look? Uh, let's see here. You know, I, I checked with Onholt. It wasn't too bad. Let me check now that I have... Uh... Yeah, you're still good. I'm just looking at it now. You got less than me. Oh, fantastic. They don't really want anything from me um, other than, um, than releasing. I was hoping that they would want um, annulment of treaties, but unfortunately that's not happening. Okay, so... I just got a free general with um, a lot of military tradition. Oh, oh yeah, sweet. I have I have a lot of uh, war exhaustion, and I'm getting uh, the bad events now. I wonder, is it good to stay at high war exhaustion so the rebels spawn and maybe siege back my land into the rebel uh, into rebel land, or should I just uh, reduce war exhaustion with points? Because all of my lands are sieged, and I'm sitting on Corsica. I would think it would be better to keep the war exhaustion, but I don't really know. Oh, I'm losing stability all the time because oh, because I'm rejecting the peace deals, right? Okay, I'll stay at minus three stability then. Oh, or is it that uh, after that I have to accept the the last one? Uh, because I'm I don't at think minus so. ninety nine, not minus hundred, minus ninety nine. So maybe... I don't think so. I think it just checks it like. It used to be, now I haven't looked at this mechanic in a really long time, but it used to be back when they had, before they had the unrest mechanic, it would just check your revolt risk every time you rejected a peace deal that would lower you from stability if you were at minus three. So right. you would wind up getting revolts a lot faster. But I don't know if that's true anymore. Mm. I, I know it's not true because the whole unrest mechanic has changed, but I don't know what rejecting peace deals at minus three does for you now. We'll see. Oh, they're sieging my last province because I have Ragusa left. They're sieging Ragusa now. <laughs> well, Poland's not too happy that I took Niederlauts. They are at, they have a hostile attitude toward me now. They they desire Niederlauts. So I can't ally with them again. Even though the truce has expired. Hmm. They are actually getting reduced enthusiasm slowly because the long, uh, war is so long. So I can cripple myself, but maybe, maybe keep my provinces. Should have gone for an alliance with Austria, not France, because Austria all, almost always honors the uh, call to arms. Okay, stability drop. I am at minus three. Let's see what happens now. Oh, and I will go bankrupt. Let's just disband my armies. All my armies disband. Let's see what happens if I decline the peace offer at minus three stability. Oh, it enforced. Why? Why did it enforce? Oh crap! Okay, it enforced peace on me. I am now a two-province minor with no friends, no stability, and nothing basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I thought they had to have one hundred percent war score to do that thing. Uh, yeah, I was not aware of that either. I'm going to make a pretty bold decision here, but, uh, you know, fortune does favor the bold. I'm going to actually declare war on Pomerania. 
I do have the Hansa now as an ally, as well as uh, Brunswick. They're both willing to join. Denmark's going to join in, but uh, uh, Lundberg is not. So I think uh, I think the Hansa's going to do a good job against uh, Denmark. If any luck. Uh, I, I do wish Sweden would join in, but they have a truce with Pomerania, apparently. That's really interesting. You kept your core on Pisa, but not on... Ang did you ever finish coring in Konya? Um, yes, I did. I, I did core it, but uh, Pisa is my starting province, so that's probably why I kept it. It's my main core, right? Somehow I Liege so. got itself unseaged, despite the fact that there's massive brand, brand, uh, Burgundian armies all over the place. I don't know how they did that. All right. So I have lost a lot. I wonder if uh, France would help me. I could regain my position, but it's very unlikely. I kept Romania though, and it was a papal province before that. So I am basically 15 years behind you guys, or even more. But maybe I can recover. I could switch countries, but it would be um, an admittance of defeat. I could pull a Mathis. You can pull a Mathis, yeah. Well, I'll kind of let you decide that um, in between episodes. Okay, I'll have to think about it a bit because my host, I would have accepted it uh, five years ago if I knew that they can enforce uh, their demands when they are not at 100% war score. It would have saved me a bit. Mm, well, I, I'll have to think about it. Maybe I can, maybe I can recover. Lord Marvin lost his first war and see how well he's doing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, France canceled their subsidies. <laughs> I'm no more free miss, money. I'm gonna miss them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably gave me like 200 ducats over the course of those subsidies. Oh, that's oh, nice. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh no, Breaking Truth gives you 50 aggressive expansion. Never mind then. Because uh, I was thinking that I'm stupid because I was at minus uh, 3 stability, then I bought it back up to plus 1. But if I declared war on Pisa, breaking the truce, I could get it back. Um, but then I noticed that it's 50 aggressive expansion, and 50 aggressive expansion is more than I got for taking everything from the Pope, so never mind that. Uh, my capital has fallen. Your capital has fallen? Yes, Burgundy came up and sieged it. Oh, now France declared on Burgundy. Okay. They might still get the event that would save you, but uh, buff France and Austria. I'm not too worried about it. It's just going to be really annoying with the uh, with the uh, war exhaustion. Okay, I'll go fabricate on everyone. Oh, and I'm still allied with Milan, but not with Venice. Do you guys have any tips? What should I do to recover? Um, let's see. What would I do? Yeah, Urguza might be a good target for you. They don't have any allies. Um, uh, yeah, I just released them, but I can't fabricate again because uh, I don't have Ancona anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot you. They would, I didn't realize you had you vassalized them before, or did you? No, them? I have annexed. An, I annexed Ragusa, and I was meaning to go into Serbia and Bosnia, but then the coalition war happened. Oh, I didn't realize you had annexed them. Um, what about Genoa? What do they look like? They're they're allied with Lithuania. <laughs> mm, that 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 makes them tough. Mm. Uh, currently, I'm thinking about attacking the miners here, Pisa, Siena, and, and uh, Urbino. Uh, mm. Yeah, that, I know. If it... Sorry, uh, that's 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 actually what I I would do. Um, is I I would either try to get uh, you know get back uh, get back the the land you lost in Pisa and Siena and Urbino, or you know try and diplomatically vassalize them. If you can. Mm. Yeah. Diplomatically, probably not. They all help. They all hate me. Okay. You have a you have a truce with like everybody right now, so yes, but uh, it's a short truce actually, because it's just five years with the ones that were released, and it's longer with the ones that uh, were part of the war. 
wasn't it? No, it's... Oh, it's weird. The truce is different with everybody. I have only 5-year truce with Pisa, but my truce with Siena and Ancona is longer. And the thing that is really weird for me is that Ancona and Pisa were both released in this war, but uh, they have different truce timers. Hmm. I might try and... let's see... Um, I might try and get into a war with Savoy. I don't know if you're going to be able to get a claim on them, though. Because France will almost certainly join that, and they're allied with Mantua and Siena. So you might be able to take one or both of those more easily. Oh, that would be interesting. I can declare an OCB if that would save me. Now, France wouldn't join because they are in debt, and they are... Right, you'll have to wait for them to finish fighting Burgundy. Mm -hmm. But... Um... <laughs> Oh, my vassal is resieging my capital. Go, Oldenburg! <laughs> well, a Austria uh, called me into the, the Burgundian War, so... <laughs> Have fun with that. Burgundy is, like, like face-stomping everybody right now. Yeah. But France is also fighting Burgundy, so... And I can see that they're... I'm allied with France. I can see that they're sieging all the provinces in the south. Oh, and yeah. No, they, they just have 60,000 troops in one province. Burgundy does? Uh, or France. Oh, France does? France. Yes, yeah. in one okay. Burgundian province, 60,000 troops. Because Burgundy pretty much had completely defeated Austria before France attacked them, so... Um, but, so Austria is not really much of a factor in this war anymore, but it sounds like France is crushing them. I'm actually not allied with France, so I can't see what's going on down there. Um, I lost my capital, but my vassal... Oh no, 16,000 Burgundian troops are going to go kill my vassal's army. Damn it. I'm looking for allies, but I can't really find anyone. Um, I was thinking Aragon, they are almost willing to accept, but... Uh, what about Hungary? Hungary? Aren't they very weak? Oh, they are hostile. Mm. I'll try improving my I can, I can remedy that. What about the Ottomans? The Ottomans? That's an interesting choice. I would have to rival someone who they, uh, someone they are rivaled with, for example, Venice. Then they might be willing to do that. If you can, get, you can get a royal. You might be able to get a royal marriage with them too. I can't get a royal marriage with anyone because I am an oligarchic republic. Oh yeah, that's right. They just changed that too. That was in the patch today. It used to be oligarchic republics could get royal marriages. Oh, so that's why it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. That that was in the change, one of the past changes that came out today. Uh, oh, now I'm losing money. Hmm, what can I do about that? Well, I don't have any army or any money. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to disband some troops. I can lower my fleet maintenance, I guess. I'll do that. Um, three inflation or one stability. I'd usually take inflation unless I'm in the negative stability already. Alright. Oh, I took... That's your choice. I think I meant to click on inflation, but I took stability instead. Oh, well. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have to... Or I could fire my advisor. You know, I think I'm gonna fire my advisor. I don't really don't want to. Well, am I at maximum manpower? Not quite. I really don't want to reduce my troops. So I will be able to reconquer Pisa very soon. Three more years. I mean, it's not very soon in a multiplayer game because it's all going quite slowly. Oh, France has pretender rebels. Interesting. I will have to fire my favorite diplomatic reputation advisor, un unfortunately. Unless I can get a, an alliance first. Okay, um... I finally reached Admin Tech 4. So I can choose an idea group, not that I'm in any rush to do that. What's your first pick for this campaign? Exploration. Definitely. Exploration. Well, you are in a good position for that. 
Do you want to go to North America? Yes. I think, uh, I think Scotland can reach Greenland from Western Isles if they have Diplotech 7 and the um, plus 50% colonial range idea from exploration. So that was the timer, right? That, that was the timer. I'm just going to check my war exhaustion really quick. And that went quite quickly. <laughs> I'm going to have to buy it down. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Lord Malvern. Who's Who did the intro for this one? Yeah, Lord Malvern yeah. did. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thank you for joining us. If you liked the video, be sure to click on the like button as it does help out our channels. And, of course, please subscribe for future updates. And, as always, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.